Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a video on my new planner. So I know that it's already like almost the end of February, but I only just got my planner now. Love that for me. But yeah, I'm going to be setting it up for this video. So if you watch my bullet journal flip through for 2019, you might have seen me talk about this planner that I was using. In the video, I showed that I was using this planner for the beginning of 2020. It's just this small A6 or B6. I'm not even sure what size this is. It's pretty small. It's just a small regular planner that I got from this store called Morning Glory here in Sydney. So this is basically what it looks like or what I've done so far. So for January, this is what I basically did. I had a yellow theme going on and for the weekly spreads, I just decorated it like so. So it's not necessarily a bullet journal because I didn't make it from scratch. Like it was already a pre-planned layout. I just decorated Created it with stickers and washi tape and wrote in all of these entries and tasks that I needed to do for that week. And yeah, that's pretty much all I did. I'm still planning to use this planner, just not decorated as extra as this. I'm not entirely set on what I'm gonna do, but I'm still gonna keep this planner and just keep it on the side. But yeah, this was the planner that I was originally using for the start of 2020. And now I will show you my current planner that I'm going to be moving into and using for the rest of the year and that planner is this planner which is a six ring binder planner and it is an a5 size planner so here's a comparison on size i just wanted an a5 size because i'm so used to using a5 journals such as my previous 2018 and 2019 bullet journal and yeah i just thought an a5 size would be good and the reason why i got a six ring binder is because it's a trend going on these days i'm not sure who started it but i think a lot of people got inspiration from Justine Bujo which is also an inspiration of mine but yeah she has a lot of videos on her six ring binder and it looks really aesthetic and cute and yeah I wanted to hop on the trend I mean it's always like that trends are always coming and going but yeah this is the trend right now and I wanted to hop on the trend because it's so cute and pretty right so this binder planner that I got is actually from this store on Etsy called Duru Naru they have a lot of Korean and stationary items and they're all pretty cute i must say though that the shipping is really slow like i was waiting for this planner for a long time it's my fault for ordering it so late like i should have ordered it before 2020 started but i don't know the shipping just took way too long and i couldn't be bothered and plus it was a little bit pricey like for the shipping and everything like there are other alternatives out there but yeah this is where i got that journal so just a quick overview of what the journal looks like actually before I start. So it comes with this ruler thing that's detachable. It comes with this cover. You could choose different covers and this is the one I chose. It just has buildings. It's like purple and pink pastel with this whale on it. There's this cover. Then it has this little yearly overview thing where you can put events and stuff. Kind of like a future log just with smaller spaces. This is the monthly layout and then this is the weekly layout. So it doesn't really have plain pages because it is a planner but this is the layout that I really wanted and out of all the six ring binders that I could find this is the one that I like the most and the one that fits my liking. So I like this vertical layout the most and yeah it just repeats itself throughout the entire planner and at the end they also included some extra pages I guess. So it has this record page with lines. It also has some gridded pages kind of with these lines and lastly they also have some pretty pages here kind of like refills might use these extra pages for journaling if i don't end up getting in a five ring binder journal but yeah there's just these little inserts that are really pretty and at the end it has this cover kind of similar to the front and also some details that you could add about yourself in case you lose this planner or journal yeah that is the planner and i'm going to be including my own inserts just because i want a year at a glance and also a goals page but other than that i'm just gonna set up this journal and talk to you guys at the end
control, but I ain't no boss. So I'm a god. That's all me. I got this shit on the dark. It's a party. I get this shit till I start it. So call me a song on going dark. Tell my brothers one day we gon' make it. We just gotta grind for that page. Mama told me one day I'll be famous. Remember when she used to say she hate me.
Okay, so I've finished setting up my 2020 planner and I'm just gonna do a quick flip through and tell you guys what I did. So I wanted to make my planner a bit extra and I've seen people attach keyrings onto their ring binder and that's what I've done. So I've added this paper suteka keyring that I got and also this other attachment that I got from another ring binder that I had like ages ago. So it's just this little tag thing that looks kind of cute and it kind of matches the color scheme anyway. So I've added these two just as a cute element i didn't really change or add anything for the cover because firstly i'm not entirely sure what sticker would be good for this type of cover i feel like if you add a sticker or just any other sticker it would create a mark on the transparent cover so i'm not sure what would be good for that so right now i'm just gonna leave it as it is i didn't really change the cover because i really like this pastel purple cover that they already added I've made my own year at a glance. So this is just a letter sheet that I got from a store called Morning Glory. I've done a year at a glance over here. As you can see, just added some stickers, added all these dates here, just so I can like flip back and see what date lies on what day. So if I wanna see what date is the 13th of September, I can just look it up here without having to flip through my planner. Then I also added a goals page, just a little goals page here. Added some stickers as well, made it cute. This is just a sheet from one of the journals I own. Then added this to cover whatever was on the other side of this sheet. And then moving on to the first page for this, basically kind of like a spread for a future log. I just added borders to make it a bit more cuter, but I haven't filled it in because I feel like I'll just do that another time. So yeah, I added borders, moving on. I just did the first monthly page, which is the monthly spread for February. So I've added some entries for what I've done for each day and I haven't finished yet because February is not over yet, but that's what I've done so far and that's pretty much it. So I still have a long way to go and I just can't wait to continue using this planner because I had a lot of fun decorating this spread and I'm sure the other pages will be nice as well. The paper quality is pretty good as well so I like that. So that is pretty much it for this video, this setting up my 2020 planner video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will leave all of the links down below in the description of all the things I used and also where I got this if you're interested. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this video, like this video, comment down below if you have anything to say, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and other than that, I'll just talk to you guys in my next one. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you have a good day, please take care of yourselves and I'll just see you later.